Speaking of sins that need to be atoned for, uh, I have unfortunately finally a deeply unsettling, uh, tragic, really disturbing video to play for you. And uh, I don't like playing stuff like this on a Monday. It just starts the week on a bit of a sour note. But I feel I feel duty bound to talk about this, to bring it to light. If you have kids in the room, I would maybe send them out of the room before I play this because it's not appropriate for kids. It's not even appropriate for adults, honestly. But um, but here it is. This New Zealand startup is making ice cream out of cauliflower, and they're on a mission to help the world eat differently. This plant-based ice cream is made without any dairy, gluten, nuts, or soy. The two female founders, Millie and Jenny, came up with the idea and started making ice cream here in New Zealand using cauliflower, which would otherwise go to waste because it wasn't the right shape or size for supermarkets. The tubs are certified home compostable, which means you can just chuck them in your home compost and they can return to the earth. Eat Kinda is stocked in one of the largest supermarket chains in New Zealand, and they have their sights set on expanding overseas. So comment below where you think they should be stocked and what countries they should expand to next. Save this post and send to someone who you think would love some cauliflower-based ice cream. It's so creamy. Wow, that's you so can't good. can't taste cauliflower in there. Yeah, no, not at all. Cauliflower ice cream. Uh, that, I, this is simply not okay. It, it's just not okay. And... I, you know that I'm not joking when I say that that should be illegal. I really believe that. It should be illegal. It should be illegal, certainly to sell it as ice cream, to put that, like, false advertising, you know, is supposed to be illegal. It's, it's fraud. I would argue that it's fraud. Uh, and much of the, the vegan food industry, is, it's, 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 uh, it's all fraud. Um, and it's a worse kind of fraud. This is like Bernie Madoff, you know, times 10. It's, 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 it's the worst kind of fraud. And it should be illegal, punishable by a $50 fine and death. It should be illegal for you to market anything as ice cream if it's not made with milk. And by that, I mean regular milk. And when I say regular milk, that everyone knows I mean cow's milk. Okay, Milk from a cow, from the udder of an animal that goes moo. Okay, That's what I mean. And anything outside of that is not milk. It's not ice cream. It's not anything. You owe back taxes or still have unfiled returns. Not only is owing back taxes stressful, but the IRS has also become more determined than ever. The IRS's chief data analytics officer revealed that they're focused on an enforcement project with an average return on investment of about $6 for every $1 spent. They're targeting individuals and businesses that currently owe back taxes or haven't filed their returns first. Uh, Tax Network USA, the nation's leading tax relief firm, knows the tax code and will fight for you with a record of negotiating over a billion dollars in tax relief for their clients. Their team is knowledgeable in handling any type of tax issue. Whether you owe $10,000 or $10 million, they can help you. Even if you don't have all your personal or business records from over the years, they can get you filed up to date. Facing the IRS without a professional is not a smart move. Contact Tax Network USA for the best strategic advice to help reduce or even eliminate your tax debt. Call today at 1-800-245-6000 or visit their website at tnusa.com slash Walsh. They'll give you a free private consultation on how you can settle your tax debt today. That's tnusa.com slash Walsh. You know, this, this ice cream, what, what it actually is, is liquefied cauliflower. And imagine putting that on the carton. Imagine putting on the carton, uh, here, here, here's some mint chocolate chip flavored liquefied cauliflower. But, you know, you would never do that because nobody would buy it. And what does that tell you? When you're selling a product that nobody would buy if you told them what it actually was, what does that tell you? But they don't say it because they're not honest. And that's what gets me the most. That's why I think that the, um, the vegan infiltration of all of these different food products, I think it's a moral issue. I think it's one of the great moral issues of our time. And it's a moral issue because they're lying. And they don't have the guts to be honest with us, and they don't have the guts to be honest with themselves. So, so they say, uh, oh, this is ice cream. This is butter. This is milk. No, be honest. You've given up ice cream, butter, and milk. The three major food groups, okay? You've given it up, and you want us to give it up. And you want to sell us something that you call ice cream, that, but that is m- minus the one thing that makes it what it actually is. 
And rather than just admit that, rather than be straightforward, you lie. And that's what I don't like. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being a vegan. Well, there is something wrong with being a vegan, obviously. That should be illegal too. But we can only, we can only do one thing at a time here. So it's, I'll put it another way. It's bad enough to be a vegan. But if you're going to be a vegan, just be a vegan. And if you're some other made-up thing, like lactose intolerant, then, then just be that. And yes, I'm seriously arguing that lactose intolerance is made up. I don't believe in it. Media matters. You can run with that. Matt Walsh says that lactose intolerance doesn't exist and is satanic. Well, that's not true. Veganism is satanic. Uh, lactose intolerance is just made up. Here's how I know it's made up. I know it's made up because it's not possible to live without dairy product. I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. I don't, I've, I don't think I've ever eaten anything that doesn't have some kind of dairy product involved. I don't think I ever have. I don't think I've eaten one thing that does not involve dairy. So I don't think it's possible. That's my theory. Anyway, um, the main point is that is just revolting. And everybody involved should be executed. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.